Hello, YouTube! It's another wonderful episode of American Truck Simulator with here here with Michael Kaganagadoth. Kaganoth. 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 Kanigas. Kanigas. I get that one a lot. Kanigas. Make it a Kanigas. Especially with an Indian accent. Kanigas! What? Did he really just say that? You know what? Whatever. At least, you know, some people will make an attempt. Kanagadas. Kanigas. Kanigas. They, they, they'll at least try to say it. But the majority of the time, people will be like, Michael. At that point, I know it's me. Whatever situation I'm in, if somebody says my name followed by a giant question mark, I know it's me. And Michael, uh, yep, that's me. That's me. I'm over here. Yep. Yep, that's me. I'll just raise my hand, get up and walk across the room and be like, I know it's me. I'm the only guy in the room with a first name. <laughs> I'm the only guy with a first name because nobody knows how to pronounce it. Nobody. Uh, so if you're trying to say my last name, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Just, just whatever. My Knigas Knagendas Knak Knig Hagendas. It's proper German pronunciation, I believe. Now, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I believe the proper German pronunciation is Könighaus. Könighaus. Not Knigis. Könighaus. Könighaus. K-O-E-N-I-G-H-A-U-S. Könighaus. It's like a 10-digit phone number. Imagine having to learn this crap when you're growing up. And all you hear your mom say on the phone is this long 10-digit phone number for a last name. K-O-E-N-I-G-H-A-U-S. Knigginus. And then they try to say it. Now, Knigginus? Knigginus? Knigginus. No. Ko. Nig. House. How did I spell it to you? Did I spell it K O E N I G I S? No. K O E N I G H A U S. So, thus, in theory, you should pronounce it as such. K O E K O N I G N I G H A U S. House. German pronunciation for house is H A U S. House. K O N I G House, Koenig House, Koenig House, not Knigis. Hola, Juan Mendez, Knigis. What? Anyway, back to the game here. We're in our new truck and we're going to take our first load with it. If it will ever load. All right, I got some mods to improve graphics and some seat movement and a bunch of other stuff. I don't have any truck mods. That's coming later. I will get some truck mods, some new trucks. I'm not sure what trucks, but at some point I will get some more trucks in here. So for now we're just going to have to run with the SCS trucks and work with that. Air ride seats. This is... kind of feels like home. See, my dad has been a truck driver since 1985. The 
year after I was born, he started driving a truck. Took my mom along with him for a couple of years, and uh, well, he just kind of never stopped. So my dad's been a truck driver since '85, and then uh, in 2000, after I quit high school and got my GED, um, I took out on the road with him moving furniture for a moving agency. And uh, I just took the wrong turn. Didn't I? I'm looking at the map. I'm looking at the map. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my God, leave me alone. So anyway, um, I was riding around the country with my dad for a few years, moving furniture. So, in some respects, playing this game kind of feels right at home, if you want to put it that way. Hold on, let me put my cigarette out. Yes, I smoke. Okay. No trailer. We can do whatever we want. Woohoo! Anyway, um, you'll probably notice that my funds have changed from the last video that I did. Um, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, the last video I did was I bought a truck, um, which is not this truck exactly, but I did buy a truck in my last video. Um, what had happened was, here, <laughs> okay, the story is, here, what happened was, um, my computer decided to lose its freaking mind. I don't know what was wrong with it. But my video capturing software decided it didn't want to function. So basically I pulled a load. I'm thinking now it's probably this exact same load. But um, I pulled a load on this game with my new truck on this profile and um, it didn't actually record so I don't know what happened but it did not record so I was just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place like I want I want this profile I want this whole profile to be on YouTube and I, I want I want you guys to see <clears throat> um, the beginning stages from my perspective and my point of view here um, but the problem was uh, apparently Windows needed an update and that was half of the problem with uh, my video recording software not wanting to function properly so it did not actually record my video so I pulled the whole load recorded the whole video or so I thought I recorded the whole video sorry my nose is itching for some reason um, so here I'm thinking I pulled the whole I pulled the whole load all the way to its destination, delivered it, got paid for it, and I exit out of the game, and um, 
the video is not there. So I don't know what happened. But um, in the process of me trying to figure out what happened, I jumped back into the game and tried to load one of my auto saves, which I thought was, you know, two days ago. Well, today being three days ago. But uh, I tried to load that save game, and it loaded me back on part of the way through the load that I was working on before I bought this truck. So, without recording or anything, um, after I had updated Windows, run a PC tune-up, did a driver updater scan, did a malware scan, did all kinds of computer maintenance, um, I decided to jump on the game and check on my save game and see if I could just load back where I had just bought the truck and I'm ready to take my first load and that's purely not the case um, it loaded me there there was two uh, auto save games right next to each other uh, there was the one right before I bought the truck, and then right after I bought the truck, uh, halfway across town, uh, about to pick up my first load, and that's not where I wanted the save game to load me at, so um, I went back and loaded the autosave halfway through the previous load and finished that load, borrowed the money, bought the truck again, got the steering wheel that I wanted because I realized uh, in that video that did not record that I didn't have the steering wheel that I wanted. So, I figured, well, if I'm going to have to go ahead and do all this again anyway, I might as well get the steering wheel that I wanted. So, I got a few other truck parts that I wanted on the truck and changed my steering wheel and did a couple other things. It's nothing really major, but... Uh, I got a, uh, an engine mod that gave me a few more engine options, and luckily at my level, it gave me an engine option for a 2,000 horsepower engine. So, as you can imagine, I took that option. Maybe it's a 1,000 horsepower engine. Oh look, a detour. Well, that's not where the map is taking me, so I'm just going to have to go this way. Now the map recalculated. If General Mills will get out of my damn way. Go on! Go on, you stoppy bastard! Piss off! Go on! If you can't find them, grind them, go! You stuffy great buffoon! Get on with it! Piss off! Anyway, um, in the process of getting more mods with engine mods and stuff, uh, I got a graphics mod and I got a realistic rain mod which I tested out as soon as I got it. Uh, I loaded into the game and I tried it. Oh you bl 
bloody bastard. Why have you got to pull out in front of me? Piss off! Easy there, rookie. Turn off your jake brake and get a move on. Oh. Well, in the process of this wonderful little detour, I discovered Everett. Hey, yeah, we're going to Washington. <laughs> now the jake brake. Jake brake off, downshift a couple of times. It's not a triple trailer like I was on before, so I can just ease around the corner and go. I got a graphics mod, a realistic rain mod, which looks really cool. Um, if you're actually playing this game, I highly recommend the realistic rain mod. Um, hopefully at some point during this video it will rain on me and I can record what the realistic rain mod looks like. Because uh, if you're playing this without the realistic rain mod, you know how God, awful, terrible the rain looks. And uh, this realistic rain mod makes it look so much better. Uh, hopefully you'll see it. I don't have my rain probability turned up very high, so... I mean, I don't want it to rain all the time. It's not like we're in Seattle or something. <laughs> uh, anyway... It's not like we're in bloody England, where it rains all the bloody time. Rain, rain, all the time. Right time? Yeah, right time. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Riding around the country for a few years with my dad moving furniture, I, I know what riding in the passenger seat of one of these trucks with, uh, air ride seats is like and uh, this mod where the camera is moving a lot and when I hit a bump the camera goes up and down up and down up and down that's about what it's like driving an actual truck in an air ride seat or on an air ride seat that's fairly accurate because your seat moves all the time every time you hit a bump your seat bounces up and down because your seat is on a an airbag just like the the back of the truck cab and all of the suspension under a truck except for the front axle is on airbags so is your seat so if you got a whole lot of pressure in your seat, your seat's not going to move. If you got hardly any pressure in your seat, uh, your seat's going to bounce for the most part, but if you got no pressure, it'll just bottom out and you'll be on the floor. So if you got a, a nice happy medium where there's just enough air pressure in the seat for it to just kind of bounce on you, but not bottom out and not ride at the top all the time. This mod kind of shows you about what it's like to ride in a truck with an air ride seat. And I'm just talking your ear off, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd explain that for those of you who have never ridden in a tractor trailer. Um, Anyway, just going down this little back road here, right behind this caterpillar. Slow it down around this curve a little bit here. See all that camera movement? That's that's about what it's like riding on an air ride seat. It's you're moving all the time. You're up. 
you're down. You're up, you're down. This is, this is actually a really good mod. It's not that far off from reality. That's, that's kind of why I got it. Because there's a picture of two uh, tractor trailer seats sitting next to each other. And I was like, oh, that, that could be interesting. You got to go into your settings and kind of change the. Uh, uh, physical camera movement speed to your liking. I had it all maxed out and it was just way too much. Um, I backed it down to about 65-70% maybe and it's it's a whole lot better. It's, it's pretty close to what it's like if you got your seat adjusted right. You'll bounce and stuff like this but uh, maybe not as much. I could probably turn this physical camera movement speed down to like 40% and it would be, it would be more realistic. Oh, there's a bridge that we can't cross that goes to nowhere. Okay. graphics mod changed a bunch of uh, it changed a bunch of stuff where it's supposed to look better I'm not seeing a huge difference here um, if you do see a difference and you can tell that there's a difference between the graphics mod that I'm running and normal gameplay, then please, by all means, put in the comments exactly what you're seeing, because um, I'm not noticing a major change here. Should I downshift again? Yeah, I'm gonna have to downshift. Downshift again. There we go. Still not doing quite as good as I want. <clears throat> Plus. And of course there's a truck behind me. Probably going just as, as hard as I am to get just as fast as I'm going. So, and it's AI. So, who gives a crap? Who cares what the computer has to deal with when I'm going slow?
see if we can keep it on the road here. Not crash. That is our ultimate goal. Play the game, but do not crash. Well, crashing would be interesting. Just don't necessarily want to. I don't know why I'm shifting. Drop it back out of here. Pull this hill through S curves up here. Drop another gear. go too fast to these curving areas. I've never been on this road on any of my American Truck Simulator game save games. I've never been on this road, so this is all new to me. New to me, new to you, new to me, new to you. sign as to what river that was. With Whitmore, Whittier, Whitter, Whiter? I don't know what that said. says the same thing as the map says. Good. Let's run the Jake brake for a minute. Alright. Oh, we're almost there. 18 wheels and a dozen roses, 10 more miles on a four day run. Oh god, it's turning right here. Okay. Uh. Jake, 
off. Oh, there's a fence. All right. No privilege. They had to open the gate for me. There's an ambulance behind me. Ha <laughs> It's not a bumpy road at all, is it? Alright, we have skilled parking turned on, so when I go to pull in to this place, it's not even going to give me an icon to select which parking I want to do. I just have to go straight ahead and do the skilled parking, which is obviously backing the trailer into that little spot back there. All right, let's get it in the gate, cut it this way. All right, let's get over here a little closer to it. Cut it sharp, turn around. Nailed it. Excellent. Leveled up. All right. Made some money. Leveled up. Um, what do we want to do? Fragile, just in time, fuel economy. How about we do fragile cargo? See if we can make some more money that way. We don't want to do long distance yet. We'll get everything maxed out first, and then we'll do long distance. Trailer upgrades, flatbed, long trailers. All right, truck upgrades. See, we're in the 389, so we'll stay in the Peterbilt range. If it'll load, there we go. Wheels, lug nut caps, steering wheels, headache racks. Bug deflectors for the 579. 579. 579. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. 389. That's probably part of that engine pack that I got. Uh, see, I don't. I don't much care for the painted side skirts. I'm, I'm more of a chrome side skirts with lights and chrome tank or polished tank really so all this painted stuff is a bit too much paint for me see I like the I like the chrome side skirt here and the polished tank that's what I like all right so we got our loan of 150 grand three grand a day we got 42,000 in the bank 
And we don't have any upgrades unlocked that we really care about. Uh, let's see. Seattle. What's the upgrade going to cost? 180 grand. To give us two more drivers. And then after that, it's another 100,000 to unlock these extra two spaces. So 180 grand to get these two unlocked so that I can spend 150 grand per truck per slot plus hire a driver for it. So we got a bunch of money to make. We got a bunch of money to make. So anyway, uh, we're going to save always save your game and then we're gonna quit out yes we want to s yes we really want to quit all right well if you like the video then hit like obviously if you like it hit like uh, smash the subscribe button to subscribe for more videos and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video so you know Everything that I know. <laughs> Anyways. Hit like. Smash subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Watch more of my videos. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Tell everybody about my channel. Anyways. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye bye.